Hi guys, Marcus here and welcome to Chinese Entertainment Update April 4th, 2024. I release episodes every Tuesday, Thursday and Sunday between 7 and 10 p.m. Pacific Time. This is episode 816 and the rundown with timestamps is in the description box below. Now, because I use Chinese names quite a bit on my show, if you want the English spelling of them, you can turn on subtitles. I create them myself. In today's episode, Joy of Life Season 2 passes review. Yu Cheng says that Bai Lu recommended Joseph Cheng for their upcoming drama. Liu Wu gets a nosebleed during a live stream with Jiang Qingqing. And Zhang Linghe wins a court judgment, gets an apology and compensation from an anti fan. We usually begin with what's recently premiered but nothing to report for today and yesterday, so we begin with dramas that are confirmed to premiere soon. There's Live Surgery Room, a medical drama starring Vin Zhang and Tai Xu. Earlier today, they confirmed an April 6th premiere. Vin Zhang's last drama appearance was a supporting role in Yang Yang's Fireworks of My Heart, whereas Tai Xu's was a supporting role in As Long As We Are Together. In Live Surgery Room, they play devoted surgeons who don't quite see eye to eye on things. According to Yuku, Vin Zhang plays a genius doctor who goes to a new hospital to uncover the truth about an unjust case 18 years ago. This adds to an already uneasy atmosphere at the hospital. The drama will stream on Yuku. Then there's City of the City, a modern drama starring Bai Yufan and Yu Hawei. Two days ago, they confirmed an April 9th premiere. You guys might recognize Bai Yufan from last year's Ripe Town. He was the star of that suspense costume drama. Veteran actor Yu Hawei's last drama to air was Three Body, which came out last year as well. According to Baidu, City of the City follows Bai Yufan's character, a young graduate, and the challenges he faces as he works his way up the ladder in Shanghai's competitive finance industry. The drama will stream on iQiyi. Another drama that's confirmed for April 9th is Best Choice Ever, starring Yang Zi and Xu Kai. I've spoken in detail about this drama a few times recently, so I won't do it here. I will update on where to watch with English subs, if available, after it premieres. Before we get out of premiere dates, Li Xian has two dramas that are rumored to premiere soon. The first is Will Love in Spring, a modern drama in which he stars with Zhou Yutong. That's rumored to premiere on April 9th. The other is Shooting Stars, a Republican-era drama in which he stars with Ren Ming. That's rumored to premiere on April 15th. I will update on these two dramas when they announce something official. Next up for drama updates, the hashtag Joy of Life Season 2 Passes Review made the rounds on Weibo recently. The caption on this post reads, Tencent costume drama Joy of Life Season 2's production team has changed to Singli, has passed review and will get a license soon. This is the accompanying screenshot. Joy of Life Season 2 is up here and has changed its production team to Singli, a company out of Shanghai. It's been a long wait for the sequel, but it looks like the wheels are in motion. Season 1 came out in 2019 and left viewers with a major cliffhanger in the final episode. The last time I updated, Season 2 had 1.2 million reservations on Tencent. Lastly now for drama updates, opening Topan ratings. I just have one for you guys today. Angels Fall Sometimes, the modern drama starring Landi Li and Ling Yi, opened with an average score of 7.9 from around 8,700 ratings. Those of you who followed the drama, what do you think about this score? Too high, too low, or just about right? Let us know in the comment section below. That's it for drama updates, celebrity updates now, and today we begin with Michelle Chen, who was recently photographed on the set of Zhang Hai Chuan. Zhang Hai Zhuan, literally translated as Legend of Zhang Hai, is an upcoming costume drama starring Xiao Chan and Zhang Jingyi. It is directed by Zheng Xiaolong, who previously helmed the story of Xing Fu. Filming began in December last year and is currently still going. Yesterday, photos of Michelle Chen on set were shared on Weibo. The 40-year-old Taiwanese actress was photographed in a pink costume. According to Sohu Entertainment, she plays the mother of a young Zhang Hai. Zhang Hai is the titular character played by Xiao Chan. 
Here is a picture of Michelle standing next to co-star Wallace Chung, who reportedly plays a young Zhang Hai's father. Both Michelle and Wallace have not been officially announced by the drama yet, but reports and leaked photos will suggest they are part of the cast. According to Douban, the drama follows Wang Zhanghai, son of the imperial astronomer. As a kid, he witnesses his whole family get murdered and sets on a revenge plan which would come to fruition years later when he becomes a man. Next up, Bai Lu recommended Joseph Zheng for their upcoming drama together. That's according to producer Yu Zheng. On April 2nd, producer Yu Zheng shared a post on his personal Weibo. He starts by talking about his recently wrapped drama Perfect Match and what an emotional finish to the film shoot it was. Then, in his second bullet point, he brings up an upcoming drama of his, Ling Jiangxian. I'd previously referred to it as There is a Fox in Hengmen. There has been much speculation about this drama, particularly about its lead cast, which is said to be Bai Lu and Joseph Zheng. That seems to be all but confirmed in Yu Zheng's post. In the third bullet point, he writes, A drama is the result of everyone's joint efforts. The male and female leads have a great relationship. Bai Lu recommended Joseph Zheng. Joseph also finished his homework early and sent it to Bai Lu. I think this will be a wonderful journey. Lin Jiangxian does have an official Weibo page, but as of today, there is still no content on it, so the Xianxian drama hasn't been officially announced. It is, however, rumored to begin filming on April 8th. Moving on now, Leo Wu recently got a nosebleed while doing a live stream. Here, the 24-year-old actor is with his Dwelling by the West Lake co-star Jiang Qingqing. They are chatting casually when he feels the nosebleed coming on and has to duck out to deal with it. He's gone for about 10 minutes before returning and finishing up the live stream. Work is important, but health comes first, exclaimed a fan on Weibo. He's been working intensively for many days to promote the movie. Hope everyone will support it, commented another. Yet another commented similarly. He's been working hard on these roadshows, but Leo can rest assured, Dwelling by the West Lake is very good. I feel energized after watching it. Those who sat next to me said it was very good too, and that Leo did a great job. One other just gave medical advice, saying, Gotta tilt your head forward if you get a nosebleed, bro. Leo has indeed been busy promoting his latest movie, Dwelling by the West Lake, which hit theaters in China on April 3rd. In it, he and Jiang Jingqing play son and mother. His character is searching for his long-lost father, and at the same time, caring for his mother, who's been deceived into joining a multi-level marketing organization. For her performance, Jiang Jingqing won Best Actress at the recently held 17th Asian Film Awards. Next up, Jeremy Xu shares a post to say farewell to his character in Burning Flames. It is his first since sharing the post to say farewell to being an actor. On April 2nd, Jeremy wrote, This moment deserves a goodbye, both to Burning Flames and to Heilong. Heilong is the character he plays in the drama Burning Flames. Since first meeting Heilong, I started to get into his heart. On the surface, he is aloof and seems to be the lord of all. But in fact, he doesn't care about anything except his lover. He is willing to fight fate for hundreds of thousands of years until his lover returns. I am honored to have played this role. During this journey, I have seen Heilong's persistence, fearlessness, arrogance, sincerity, and gentleness. I have also seen everyone's love for Heilong. Thank you very much. This post comes on the back of another post he shared on March 15th, where he said, quote, Farewell to my post as an actor, unquote. Burning Flame stars Ellen Ren and Fair Singh and airs the last of its 40 episodes on April 3rd. Lastly, for celebrity updates, Zhang Linghe got an apology and monetary compensation from an anti-fan. Yesterday, Zhang Linghe studio shared this post to say that in response to some untrue claims about the actor, they entrusted a team of lawyers to initiate litigation procedures and obtained a winning judgment. Quote, The internet is not a lawless place. Everyone must be responsible for their own words and deeds and not spread rumors. Unquote. According to Sohu Entertainment, in September 2022, a netizen posted slanderous remarks such as Zhang Linghe cheated on exams in school and was punished. 
In November 2023, the courts ruled that the netizens' action amounted to defamation and ordered them to apologize and compensate Zhang Linghe. Last month, the judgment was enforced. The 26-year-old actor is currently filming The Best Thing, a modern drama in which he plays a doctor. Here he is performing as Dr. He Su Ye, telling someone to Jia Yu, an English equivalent of Let's Go. Here he is filming an intimate scene with his leading lady, Xu Rohan. They started filming last month. And that's it for celebrity updates. Before we get to our last update, just to say that this show wouldn't be possible without you guys tuning in, so I thank you all for your support. If you enjoy the content, do like and subscribe, and don't forget to click that bell button for notifications. If you'd like to contribute, consider giving this video a super thanks. It is the heart-shaped button with the dollar sign below this video. All funds support the show and keep it going. Or you can check out my Patreon page, where for a dollar or more a month, you'll have access to perks like recaps, requests, and have your questions answered. On that note, it's Thursday today, so time for another segment of my predictions for this Sunday's Top 10 Champions. As you guys know, every Sunday we do the Top 10 Chinese Web and TV Dramas of the Week. In this segment, I give some of my thoughts and predictions as to who the champions will be. To recap, last week's top web drama was In Blossom, starring Zhu Jingyi and Liu Xueyi. And the top TV drama was The Legend of Shen Li, starring Zhao Liying and Lin Kenxing. I'm gonna back both dramas to remain champions of their respective categories. A bunch of new costume dramas premiered recently, like Blossoms and Adversity and Sword and Fairy 1. They might make a bigger impact next week, but for this week, I don't think they'll garner enough points since they premiered later into the week. So that's In Blossom and The Legend of Shali to remain champions this week. What do you guys think? And that's been another segment of my predictions for this Sunday's Top 10 Champions. Before I let you guys go, I want to give a shout out to Paula Munro, who recently became a patron on my Patreon. Thank you for your support, Paula. And that brings us to the end of this episode. Have a great weekend, and I'll see you guys Sunday. As always, stay safe, and I wish you clear blue skies, good health, and happiness. Until next time, cheers.